a field producers to get them out of all the missing children that were going on all the summer. Oh, great. Great. It's not the wording. <laughs> <laughs> We hope that um, eventually that we, we will be able to treat some, certainly some human diseases with, with cells which uh, have been produced and that um, one of the, the reasons for looking at nuclear transfer is that we can make specific um, cell types, compatible cell types with a variety of people. It's a very inefficient process at the moment, mostly running between 1% and 5% efficiency. So you've got to make lots of embryos for one of those to be successful. And even the successful embryos, uh, the successful animals, the animals which do go to term, have suffered from a variety of defects. <coughs> and we're, we're trying to find out why these animals are suffering these defects and, and trying to make the, the system more efficient. So it's fused together and that starts the embryo developing and transfer it and that's the surrogate mother. And then you just it's cross your fingers and toes yes. and probably around twenty, We've got a very long way to go. It's it's going to be years, perhaps tens of years before we have uh, some very good stem cell therapies, but hopefully we will be able to, to treat some diseases with those sort of cells. To cross, cross everything and, and you wait, so it's a bit of an, an anti-climax to actually know what happens. <laughs> I think um, one doll is enough, I think. Uh, she's certainly quite an animal. She's, she's a bit for prima donna. She she uh, she enjoys the press, and uh, I don't think we I, I think we should stop there. And not make another one.